Securing the next generation of technical talent into engineering is crucial to the future of the manufacturing industry in the UK. There has been growing concern over the ability to attract young talent, but Caterpillar is determined to win more young people to its award-winning apprenticeship scheme. We visited their facility in Leicester to see how apprentices are shaping the future of UK engineering and manufacturing. Powering the globe, these machines are changing the face of the earth and the men and women who design and build them are using cutting-edge technology to manufacture our tomorrow. Georgia and Kirat are just two of Caterpillar's engineering apprentices, guaranteeing British manufacturing can compete with the best in the world. I build diggers. No, you don't. What do you really do? No, really, I build diggers and they're like, no, like, really? Because they just look at me and think, for some reason, that I'm not capable of building these big cat backhoe loaders, but obviously I do. Georgia is a first-year apprentice who couldn't have envisioned that a career in engineering would help her find her passion, building these sophisticated machines and making sure one rolls off the production line every 15 minutes. My uncle's friend gave me three weeks before I quit and left, but I just, it, the more people said that to me, the more I thought, no, I'm going to love it. It gives me like, a sense of achievement that I've contributed and all these diggers that are going all over the world. And Kirat, now a second year apprentice, says the scheme has helped him develop life-changing skills. It's motivated me to get somewhere in life. I don't want to go into manufacturing engineering because at the start of my apprenticeship I was in there for five months. It was amazing and I loved it in there. They're like, you're always on the go. Since I've been here I've, um, I've become a union rep for the apprentices and I've also been to 10 Downing Street. Put your foot on the step and climb in there. And so you there you so go. Did you help build this machine? Uh, I help build a, a, quite a few different parts on this machine. Third year apprentice Joel Mee wants to inspire other young people to take up a career in engineering. It's not just old men that do engineering jobs because that's what people think. It's young people like me think an apprenticeship gives you that ability to know how hard you need to work to get to where you want to be. People don't realise how many things and how many day-to-day -day things are engineered. Your glasses at home that you have a drink from, or the, the taps that you pour the water from. They don't think about the guy that made them and drew them and created them and then machined them. They're all the engineers that are behind these things. With a major skills gap, finding and developing the next generation of engineers is crucial. If they're to shape the solutions we so badly need to many of today's challenges. And it's in schools where Caterpillar's Desford facility manager, Tony Carr, believes most work needs to be done to inspire kids in science, engineering and maths. Tony's behind their learning and inspiration centre. The intention is we'll reach out to school kids from 6 to 16, bringing them in for sessions of up to three hours. This is what we do, this is what the company's about, and giving them a, a shop tour out in the factory as well. So they can say, ah, it's completely different to what their expectations would have been. Phil Handley is Managing Director of Caterpillar's Articulated Trucks. Well, this is a cat engine that goes into an articulated truck and this test equipment here is putting the engine and transmission under a full load and simulating the conditions that the truck would operate in. Our machines, we're expanding the Panama Canal, helping to build the Suez Canal, so they work in tremendously harsh conditions. Phil made it from apprentice to boss and he wants more kids to have big ambitions in engineering. I never dreamt that I would one day uh, be a managing director. And I've had so many opportunities. I've been back to college and studying electrical, electronic engineering, management diplomas, and then a, a master's degree at Durham University. It's really important that we continue to evolve the product and, and get to that next generation and continue to look at ways that we can, we can offer the, the customer more value. Increasing productivity and efficiency for Caterpillar customers is what drives former apprentice Steve McCoy. Well, Caterpillar is spending about $2 billion annually on research and development. We need to do that as an industry to keep ahead. And having a brilliant pipeline of talent is vital to Caterpillar's future. Innovation comes around when you get a, a variety of different perspectives on a particular issue or problem. So a mix of uh, people from different backgrounds, different genders, different ages and experiences all go into that mix that helps us to create some really fantastic products. Caterpillar has big ambitions for the future and making that a reality means investing in a new generation of high-tech, highly ambitious 
apprentices. A regular supply of young talent coming into those facilities is important for the future, not only of our company, but also for our country as well.